hi everyone welcome back to my channel today we are going to perform an upgrade on 4500 switch okay let me show you which device we have okay so this is 4500 switch and we have the 3.11.9e version which is running on the device this is the roman version of the device okay and then this is the uptime of the device okay and this is the version of iOS which is there on the boot flash okay and different licenses and you can see the things here so this is the model which we have so the supervisor which we are using on this particular device is a supervisor 80 okay so this is a dual supervisor switch okay so we have two soups on that two supervisors soup 80 okay both running on 3.11.9e iOS version okay and both are running in SSO mode straight full switch over okay so our plan is to perform an upgrade on a single 4500 switch which is running on dual supervisor okay so i'll show you two methods one is uh, uh, one is a simple method where we go ahead and perform an upgrade on this particular switch um, on both the supervisors um, but that thing will require a downtime because the reload process is needed and reload process will take approximately 10 to 15 minutes for the device to reload and come up with a new iOS. Okay, and the second method is uh, without a downtime will switch over from um, one supervisor to another supervisor. Okay, so we'll uh, perform an upgrade on one supervisor and then switch over to the other supervisor. Okay, and and then on the other supervisor will perform the upgrade and switch back to the first supervisor so second method don't require a downtime okay so let's start with the first method okay so this is the command show module which i used where i can see different supervisors and the modules i have on the switch so this is a line card we have these are two supervisors we have and this is the ios so it's 3.11.9a is the current iOS version okay let's see which files do we have in the boot flash okay we have all these different files here so 3.11.9e is the current one we'll go ahead and try to upgrade it to 3.11.10a okay and the same we have to look on the so this boot flash is for the primary supervisor we have to look for the look on the slave boot flash also which is for secondary uh, supervisor on secondary also 31110e so 31110 31110e file is missing here we don't have that file here okay uh, 11 that is here the file is there with a but that is without a crypto image so we have to copy the file first let me go ahead and delete one some files and make some space free on the slave so a slave boot flash same thing the other file just copy and paste the bin file and let me delete this one also So let me see the space which I have now. Okay, we have only three files. 
let me copy the file 31110e from boot flash to slave boot flash so the copy is in progress now this copying thing will take some time uh, i mean so it will hardly take uh, two three minutes Okay, so the iOS is copied on the secondary supervisor, which is acting as a standby. Okay, so let's verify that. DIR slave boot flash. Okay, and it's on 3.11.10e. Okay, let's verify with dot bin okay so we have the file now and the file is here okay so we do have a file on uh, active and standby supervisor now we just want to perform an upgrade to 310 311.10a from 311.90 e, okay and uh, before you go ahead and perform a reload on any device uh, which you're trying to perform an upgrade uh, what I suggest is just verify the MD5 of the IS version. Okay, and the command which you need to use is verify slash MD5 boot flash. Okay, and the image name. Okay, so I'm not going to do that process because if I'll go ahead and do that, that MD5 process will take another uh, 10 minutes or something. Um, it does sometimes take 10 minutes, but normally does it. Uh, it takes only five minutes okay and once the value which you get for the md5 you need to verify that value on the website of cisco okay and if that md5 value matches with the ios on the cisco website then that means the ios version which you have is a, a good ios it is not corrupted one okay so i have the image then i just need to set the boot variable okay i'll go to to config t the no boot system boot system boot flash okay boot system boot flash and this image name okay same goes for slave boot flash Okay, uh, for the slave one, I don't think we require that. Just a minute. Okay, now let me save it. Let's verify the value. Show boot VAR. Okay. So now what we have is again okay, the boot variable is set for the active supervisor to this image. For the standby variable, it's also set to 311.10e okay so we don't need to make any changes okay one other thing which you need to uh, make sure it should be correct is the config register value which is 0x2102 and it should be the same value and the way to change it is you need to go to config t config dash register and then this value 
okay it's this value is already there so even if I don't change it that will be fine okay so I'll save the configuration okay and now we'll go ahead and perform a reload of the switch okay so before performing any kind of reload on the device just make sure you have a proper downtime okay and uh, once you have the downtime then go ahead and perform a reload on this uh, device on any switch which you're going to perform that upgrade and uh, there is another method which uh, on which you don't require a downtime i'll share that method in my next video okay please uh, do watch that video also if you learn the process of performing an upgrade on 4500 switch without a downtime okay so let me reload and the command we will use is redundancy reload shelf okay this is the command we'll use but let's verify the supervisor details okay we'll verify the okay so you have the details of the supervisor so this is the show redundancy is the command where we have the details of the supervisor so we have this is the active one okay which is running on 3.11.9e okay and this is the standby supervisor which is running on standby hot mode okay and the version is 3.11.9e okay so the boot variable is same on both the uh, supervisors and then we'll go ahead and perform a reload okay so i'll use the command redundancy reload shelf okay just make sure to save everything and then perform a reload okay and just jet that so it will reload the entire shelf okay so this switch is reloading now okay so the reload process will take another few minutes you can say i mean soon it can take up to 10 minutes also okay so let's wait for the device to reload okay and we'll see the new ios version on the device after it will come up So here you are seeing this is the version of iOS which is it is trying to boot on so it is loading that particular image so this is the console access which you are seeing on the device right now so it is loading on the same 311 10e Okay, uh, so now we can see our device will start booting up on uh, 311 10ES version. Here you can see that. Let's wait for the device to come up completely.
devices coming up now I'm just trying to log in the device okay so let me verify the iOS version Okay, so it's been upgraded to 3.11.10a. Okay, let me show you the complete version output. So this is the version. Okay, and it's been upgraded to this one, 3.11.10a. And this is the supervisor model. And let's verify the status of ours on both the soups. Okay, so these are both the soups running on upgraded to 3.11.10a okay and uh, this one is in progress and it will take some time for this one to come up and uh, it should come up on standby hot state yeah so now you can see it's up on standby hot okay so this so this is the complete video of upgrading 4500 switch from one version to another version okay here we have upgraded the ios from 3.11.90 to 3.11.10 version okay this is the same process so this process you can use on different um, different versions also on the same particular platform on different uh, supervisors also okay and uh, so in case if you have any query anything which you like which you want me to address uh, please put a comment on this particular video please do subscribe to my channel hit a like button on this video that will give me motivation so that i can make videos like this in future for you and uh, thank you so much thank you so much for uh, watching this video enjoy the day cheers